Ready to go get in your new house? Yeah? Ooh, a little guy back there. Oh, I know. You're going to get in your new house. New house. What are you guys doing? Cute. How cute is that? He said, I told you. It's cute. I love it. Yeah, I like it. The little pig house. They're gonna pile up in there. They'll love it. Oh no. Our friend Steven and Jamie, they gave us this pretty amazing tomato plant here. I'm okay with that. I didn't even have to grow it myself. I already have tomatoes. Look at this thing. It's amazing. It's huge. Huge. So I just wanted to kind of pop in here. We've been pretty busy. We got a lot of new subscribers and uh but we still have to stay busy. So we've been filming as much as we can the last couple of days. Uh, we had to move our previous piglets from Marianne and Piggert to a bigger area. We built them a little shelter. There was a spider. <laughs> or no, 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 it wasn't a spider. It was a big uh, cicada. But anyway, we um, had to build them this little shelter here. And a bigger pen form because they've already mucked up the other one. So I just kind of want to show you guys what's been going on. Uh, we're a little bit overwhelmed in a good way that we have so many new subscribers now and that our old subscribers have stuck around. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Cooney Cooney and the American Guinea Hog. So the Cooney Cooney is a small breed of domestic pig from New Zealand. Uh, Cooney Cooney are hairy and they have a pretty robust build and may, um, they may have wattles um, around hanging from their lower jaws. I know Papa Goat, which is funny, I didn't know what wattles were when I first um, started our homestead. And so the, the little, little dangles around their chin are, so far we haven't had any that actually um, had wattles besides Papa Goat. So apparently it happens in goats and in pigs. Um, Kuna Kuni's colors range from black to white to ginger or cream. Uh, it shows gold tip, black, brown, and tricolored. So they pretty much come in whatever colors that you can probably think of besides, you know, like blue. Um, let's see. It's pronounced Kuni Kuni. And the word means fat and round in the Maori language. Um... And if you've seen Piggert, he's part Cooney Cooney, and he's very fat and round, which most most pigs are. Um, they they get between. I was surprised to find out that the Cooney Coonies can reach up to about four, almost four hundred and forty pounds or two hundred kilograms. Um, here's us trying to move the little boogers across the yard. It's it was difficult. <laughs> And one of them got out. <laughs> the little one. We've been calling him Giblet. <laughs> These uh, Cooney Cooney are also more of a miniature pig when it comes to compared to like commercial pigs. Which can weigh like 800 pounds or more. So these are smaller pigs and they don't necessarily need... They're real friendly. Ours are real friendly. They like their belly scratch. They like their head scratch. They love their snacks and if anything if anything they just love snacks let's see they are like I said from New Zealand and they're very slow growing and they take their time um, before getting saddled with a bunch of piglets and they're usually sexually mature between five and eight months but they may not be interested in breeding for another six months so it just kind of depends but 
as of ours, they've decided to start early. And they're not shy about it. So, I think we've had... I'll have to ask Sean to make sure. But I think we had... We had 11 this last time. So, we still have four from the previous. And we had a bunch of piglets during the winter time. All right, so American guinea hogs. So the guinea hog is officially named after American guinea hog. It's also called the Piney Woods guinea, guinea forest hog, acorn eater, and yard pig. It's a, it's a breed of domestic pig originating in the United States. Despite its name, the breed does not come from Guinea, the country of Guinea. Um, the foundation stock were supposed to be thought to derive from West Africa. And, but newer DNA studies have pointed towards European origin. Um, they believe it's related to the improved Essex, uh, now extinct breed. And they say that this breed is also a rare breed with a black coat, sturdy body, curly tail, and upright ears, which is what Marianne is supposed to be. She, um, there are two types of guinea hog in North America, small boned and large boned guinea hogs, the latter having longer legs, and there are also a type of guinea hog in South America. The history of guinea hogs. The name derives from the belief that the origins of the guinea hog were from African guinea, but now it's thought that the guinea is just implied small like guinea cattle. Um, guinea hogs and guinea cattle are both smaller breeds of domestic livestock. The true African guinea hog, hogs are large, red breed with upright ears, bristly hair, and long tails, suggesting genetic influence of the Nigerian black or Ashanti pig. They were brought to America to, um, on slave ships around 1804. Thomas Jefferson acquired some of these pigs, which had arrived from Africa via the Canary Isles. Um, the original strain, though, basically black, also had a hint of red and were consequently called the red guineas. That strain well known for the beginning of the 19th century is extinct. But I'm guessing we're getting some of our Cooney Cooney in ours that have the red. But the very first I don't know if poor Bill, our original male pig I can't remember exactly what he was. I'll have to ask Sean. Um but later on, they were um, crossed with other breeds, a lot, including the Appalachian English pigs, Essex pigs, and West African dwarfs. The new breed, the American guinea hog, retained its black color but lost the red tint and is sometimes called a black guinea. They were, they were popular with farmers because they were really good about foraging for themselves. And um, they also liked to eat snakes. So... That's one of the reasons that we have them in our yard because we have cleared out a whole area that is woods. So we have, we've seen snakes the first couple of years we did not see them, but we have not seen really a whole lot up near the animals in our livestock. These pigs usually also stay about under 300 pounds or so. Um, they're not real big, big, big bone or not big pigs. So basically, here's Pigger. He's a cutie patootie. There's a bunch of his little babies that he's uh, made, and they're all adorable. They have done a huge, huge, had huge progress on our property between them and the goats. They have really changed and made our life a lot easier. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't appreciate them anymore there's papa goat he's a cutie patootie he's our weathered old man goat he's just here to be loved and to eat some grass and just be loved and there's ezra and ellie may ellie may we believe is uh pregnant with um one of our past goats babies that passed away so we're excited about that and here is Dale and Brennan learning what outside the coop is like. They haven't figured it out yet. 
I tried to let them out this morning, but it didn't go so well. They're like, mm, let's stay in our coop today. So we're going to be slowly letting them out. Dale and Brennan. Just want to thank you guys for watching today. And um, <laughs> we had fun a little bunch of our animals out last night. Uh, just to free roam. And they loved it. They they didn't have any leashes, no no tie outs, no nothing. And they were so excited and they did so well with coming back in. Again, thanks for watching. We're in the Woods Homestead and here's our pigs and here's our life. Dale. Don't touch my drum set!